better ever since he heard about what happened. Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. So, do you think this... Means another war's coming? Huh? Nothing to it.
Now that's just me. <laughs> Too bad. Let's do this. Hey! Get him! Here he comes! That's it! Leave this to me. I don't think so. Here goes. Get him. One more shot. Get back. You can fight too.
Let's go. The Sector 5 Undercity Specialty Meatball. Get your slum meatballs right here. Hey there, man. You into music? I screwed up an order of discs, sitting on a mountain of them now. Mind taking at least one off my hands? How you liking that music disc I gave you? I should have gone up yesterday when I had the chance. I bet it's chaos. I was born and raised topside. Nothing. The reactor just went up and we're flamed, patrolling for it? monsters. Hey, you're a soldier, right? Just one night in Walmart and I'm broke. Still aren't running, I take it. Maybe I'll go check to see if it's still on. We get the occasion. No telling what kind of here. Avalanche must have used some heavy duty. Huh? That's weird. That's weird.
I'll do better. Call is fire. I heard, I heard, you got them all, right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? They must have thought they were protecting the reactor and figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for her, getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine? Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? Hoping it will include a declaration that of war. avalanche doesn't scare me. I'd appreciate it if you could talk to that old guy. 
He helped me out a while back, and I'd like to return the favor. <laughs> oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death, and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. According to officials who are involved with the ongoing investigation. No turning back. Ah! <laughs> 
Gotta stay. So much for being a mercenary. This isn't a game. Focus. Trust me, I'm focused. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
gotta be careful. Don't close your... Won't last long. You okay?
Hey, you wanna say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife. And we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying, and then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good, because I command a very good salary. I'd love to say something, but I don't work here. Money! That's all you kids think about. Not a whit of generosity or selflessness. I may as well keep working till the day I die. You're a real dick, you know that? But on the bright side, it seems he's all fired up again. I don't know if you knew, but he used to offer free lessons to all the street kids in the neighborhood. And yeah, I was one of those street kids. Well, hey there! Got what you need to stay safe? And they crossed the line calling. Reactor. Arith, you're back! Come, look what we've done with the flowers! Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Ugh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? <sighs> you see, 
I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. One boy patrols near some concrete pipes. One girl likes to do her patrols in public areas with lots of people. One boy spends most of his time checking out the shops. One girl loves to be fussed over by folks at the community center. One boy likes to stand guard at the town gate. And don't forget, they all wear homemade swords on their backs. Thanks again for agreeing to help you guys. for my heart and my body. Stop thinking of food so much. It's almost dinner time and I'm hungry. and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! Hey, you gonna be that bird? So, do you think this means another uh -huh. one? One of my friends told me that this hot mercenary got her out of the jam. Uh, I'm glad I moved here, but... Trains aren't gonna sell it. Still aren't running, I take it? Just one night in Walmart and I'm broke. Hey, you're a soldier, right? That sure was something. Walmart is making it. We're patrolling for months. The reactor just went up in flames, uh. didn't oh, it? Get your slum meatballs right here. Sweet and spicy levels up here. Uh, is 
it weird that I prefer this part of town? Avalanche must have used some no heavy duty. Once we get the occasional monster here. But seeing maybe I'll go check to see if it's still. Think like you can help me out? Nice sword you got. This place takes getting used to. Uh, one of my friends told me. Sure, that. hope not. My very first Undercity night out. Dump that form. That's too much. My lights have been on the fritz ever since that explosion. Cat to our gum or chocobo candy. Oh man, how am I supposed to get some? Well. I heard there's someone going around huh? looking for people who need it. Hey there, how goes the patrol? <laughs> Great, I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh no, I'm late. Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! Shinra is considering offering units in its residential property. Uh, huh? Qualifying citizens free of charge uh, until they can find a new Hey, my house is this way. With the ongoing investigation the You scared me! Alarm hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Folia's lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. I know. You're talking about Walmart, aren't you? The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone. Come inside. It's time to hit the books. You guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. 
I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh, yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us! Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. The hideout is the only place that belongs to just us. I don't want to lose it because of some angry Toad King. There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in. I want to become strong just like you. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? That's, That's that. that. That wasn't so bad. Easy. Let's do this. And we're safe. Let's try that again. 
again. It's on you. I'm coming. This might be it. I'll take that. Let's do this. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes! Yes, Miss Folia! I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. <laughs> Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well... Then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout.
Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center. And I heard he was looking for some help. I'll make sure to tell everyone around that you're here to help out. That way, you might get more work. Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. You'll never be any good unless you whack, whack, whack. Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes? <laughs> Wait! Welcome, Koopa!
you guys. I've got a whole mountain of Moogle medals now. Soon I'll be able to make everyone here super happy. That's wonderful. So, like Mog the Moogle, you'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Koopa. The wishes of every single person in the slums. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgard love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Koopa. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So what's to stop us from selling directly to these collectors? Uh, Moogle Magic, Koopa? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. I heard the good news. You defeated the Toad King. That's so awesome. to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the Daily Buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. Now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. 
I'll welcome any and all information pertaining to the so-called Angel of the Slums. of the slums? Such a mysterious figure, always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. <gasps> Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. I'm sorry we didn't have any useful information to share. Is that all you needed? If you want to hear about the latest rumors, I'd be happy to share. What? Do I know the guardian angel of the slums? Well, I don't know much, but I do know she doesn't steal from the poor, and she doesn't kill anyone either. As far as I'm concerned, that's all I need to know. If that's not enough for you, the one you ought to talk to is Marae. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you she knows everything about everyone around here. Good to see you again, Marae. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Hmm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity or whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? He changed so much after his parents passed away. If you're not doing anything, would you mind chatting with these ladies? What's that? The guardian angel of the slums? Come to think of it, a reporter came sniffing around asking about her. You his man? Huh. <laughs> Even if I knew something, I wouldn't tell you. To folks around here, the angel is a hero. I ain't selling her out to Shinra. I hear all these stories about Lucy. Oh, can't believe you can get paid to dig up people's secrets. Even a bandit makes a more honest living than that reporter. Oh, I hear all these stories about Lucy. Oh, I thought we put those days of war and death. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard about a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large, lots of teeth, always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, 
Well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here, wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. The forgotten Lookout Point deep within the scrap. Could it be that this place holds the secrets of the Angel? This is what we need to find out. Get back. We can fight too, man. Yeah. <laughs> 
take care of you. Okay then. Guess we should look around. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell them what we found. Cards. This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it, pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. <sighs> if the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. <sighs> Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. You know, there's a rumor that the Angel of the Slums is as radiant and beautiful as she is daring. Personally, I think that one's true. Now, what could our angel want from a man like Don Corneo, of all his many goodies? Or maybe she wants his whole fortune. You know, there's a rumor that the angel of the slums is as radiant and beautiful. Personally, I think that one's true. You all right? 
You brought us such lovely flowers. Thank you. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get up! Stay back. Let's do this. Can't you leave us alone? No. Gotta get a hate back. Come on, then. Second win. Never again. Get I 
needed on standby for a job at something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Wait a sec. So, you coming?
you talking to the... Shh. So, yeah. It was that kind of day. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? <sighs> I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Hmm. Don't want to over. 
overstay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. Jerk! I thought I told you not to leave your room. Now get back in there. Okay. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If it isn't the new florist. I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Sure. Don't push yourself too hard.
Oh. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. Oh. <laughs> Lead on, then. With pleasure. Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. see the sky they're still working on the new plate I don't like this part of Midgar back when they were still building Midgar there was an accident and the plate fell people had only just started moving in so there weren't a lot living there at the time but And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Uh -huh. I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. I can do. 
Go on! This one's for you! Come on! This is gonna hurt! Breathe! You're burning up! I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Let's do it right. It's on now. Calling lightning. Nothing to it. What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... Great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. Cloud! Here's an idea. Uh huh. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Trucking. Here. 
I wonder if someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment? Looks like a dead end.
I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? For me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. on a second. Gotcha.
Okay, right there. Hold on while I drop the ladder. Too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Compliment, uh, composite, I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, uh, when somebody else 
We haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh. Okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due recompense. Due recompense? No shit for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh. it's like, uh, uh. Compensatory damages! Damages recompense! I think we've heard enough. Come on! I'm coming! Don't leave me, I'm coming! Question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Uh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Get him! 
Let's go. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it? It's this way.
down for you in a sec. Pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> huh? huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! time ago I used to sell flowers here oh yeah <clears throat> so cloud you were a soldier first class right yeah Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Are you 
okay? Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. 